Kinda of scale guys, Nexus here and welcome to Anthem! It is obviously just to release this stuff. We did a beta of it a while back and stuff when it came out for open beta. But now the game itself is actually released as of the 22nd of February. So we are gonna be going in. Now this, I haven't played this at all. This is literally my first take into it. I've heard mixed reviews about the game. To be honest, we're gonna go straight in though. I've heard mixed reviews. So uh, we're here to test it out ourselves. Will it be the Destiny 2 killer? As we all know, I'm a big fan of D2. So will it kill Destiny 2? Well, that's what we're here to find out if this is going to be really good or if it's going to be another EA sort of flop. Now, as I said, I haven't actually played this yet, so this is probably going to be like an intro mission of sorts. So, uh, to sit back and enjoy it. We live in a dangerous world. The gods who built it vanished, leaving behind their instruments that aimlessly reshaped the land. These ancient relics harness an unknowable force we call the Anthem of Creation. But the Anthem refuses to be controlled. To survive, our ancestors invented the Javelins and built cities with great walls. They like attack and tight. It falls to a dedicated group of heroes to face the chaos. Protect our homes and fight for our very survival. We are freelancers. We leap head on into danger, rescuing the lost, keeping the monsters at bay, and silencing the anthem's terrible cataclysms. But not all cataclysms are created equal. And even freelancers are wary of the untamed power of the anthem. Okay, cryptic enough, cryptic enough. Basically, freelancers are here we are. And, oh, holy 30 frames. <laughs> we get with the Striders. Agreed. Looks like we fly from here. Alec, hear that? Yep. All teams get ciphers and amplifiers. Let's go. Oh my god, the size these things, though. So basically, the freelancers are the javelins and stuff. That's who we are. Freelancer, we're a long way from the cenotaph, and the storm is worse than we thought. Okay, this is as close as we're gonna get to the center without the strider getting ripped to shreds. Let's go, freelancers. Suit up. How crazy will this get? No idea. Never tried to shut down a cataclysm this big. Oh, steady, Faye. None of us come out of this alive without our cipher. Stay safe out there. Uh, Remember, we're a team. I'm right there with you. Okay, there's random characters oh. just talking. <laughs> I don't know who these are. Ooh, oh, I get to okay, pick. Okay, Freelancer. You might be new, but you won't be here for the show, promise. Hey, Alec, what's up? Waiting for it to die down out there? Let's go. Uh, I thought you could use a head start. See you at the Senate half. We're heading out. Okay, everyone. Let's stop this cataclysm from growing. From killing everything. I don't know Ooh, this is like Sophie's choice. Like before. Look, everyone. I won't be here if I thought the storm could beat me, right? Heart of Rage is no different than the hundreds of other Shaper ruins we've dealt with. It's just bigger. This is what we do. So we're gonna go in there and we're gonna take on whatever unholy beast spits at us and we're going to tame that thing together. Let's Hell do yeah. it. Yeah. Ready, Chapter One? Ooh, ready. Strong along? Stronger together. Ooh, nice slogan there. At least the facial animations in this game are actually pretty good for EA. Oh, I'm just gonna get put into the regular javelin. Yeah, uh, I think it's the ranger class. It's just the, literally the box standard javelin class. Oh, it's so cool when you're getting into it and stuff. I mean, the graphical interface and the camera is pretty nice, but here we go. Here's the hype of Anthem Ranger. Oh, it's so cool and so clean. Yeah, ready to kick some ass right now. Okay, now we're not because it's a good scene. <laughs> but I am ready to kick ass. Okay, it's gonna have to transition into more frames, I think, because right now it's nothing. Storm gets worse ahead. Trying to find a calm pocket for you. Steady, Miller. Your heart rate is too high. Alec, check in, please. Okay, I'm on it. This is still a cutscene, by the way. This is not gameplay. It would be crazy if this was gameplay. 
Here is probably gameplay because you can see everything transitions and we got our ass kicked already. This is not good. <laughs> Let me play. I'll kick some ass. Oh. Thank goodness you survived. Yeah. We got Jamna needs to restart. I'll bring systems back one at a time. Starting voice recognition. Jamna, this is Jamna. Jamna, you're not going to be able to get in now. Oh, crap. Uh, who do you want to be? I, I, I suppose it would be a male. All right, then. So here is the actual game. We kind of seen it before. Oh, I'm not really running. We kind of seen it before in uh, the beta and stuff. I did play it a bit. Can I run? I don't think I can. But this is the weapon. We're going to have a grenade of some sort. We're going to have an ability of some sort. That's this little rocket. And we can also punch. Okay, at the moment, we can't actually like move much. But we can double jump like that. <laughs> oh, now we can run, finally. Oh, can I fly? Uh, how do I fly again? Uh, okay, I don't think I'm even allowed to fly right now. Come on, can I actually fight some- Oh, here we go. Can I actually fight something? There we go. Destroy that thing. But, oh my god. So far, it actually looks really beautiful. That's the thing with the uh, Anthem. I think the main selling point at the start- Oh, here we go. Enemies fight them. Bum, bum, bum. At the start of the when the game like got first released, everyone was more impressed by the graphics and stuff and the promise of the story. We are kicking some scorpion ass right now. But the promise of the story and stuff look good too, so hopefully I'm just gonna ignore those reviews that came out because a lot of, of course if you were an Origin Access premium uh, buyer, subscription guy, you got to play this week already. So there has been a lot of reviews I think on this already. But we're gonna ignore those reviews because some of them were actually were really bad and stuff, and then some of them were really good. So we're gonna see what this is like ourselves. We're gonna have to revive our buddy. Is there someone behind me? Oh my what is happening? Uh can, can you just like leave me alone and just not kill me? Don't worry, I got him. I got him. Let's revive. Ba -bum. Okay, we revive this dude. <laughs> See, I don't need to revive. I'm too good at this game. Too good at this game. We got a kill there. These things are actually pretty easy to kill. I do love third person shooters though. Um, I do, I'm do. i obviously a fan of FPS as well, if you're Destiny and stuff. But uh, third person shooters can be really nice sometimes. Especially if they're done well. Um, oh, okay. Something else is shooting at me. I better kill these things first. Especially like things like Gears of War and stuff, they were really nice third person shooters. We are destroying these little scorpions though, these things have like no health. Um, this is the first mission by the way, as I said, I haven't played this yet, this is the first mission. So this is what happens when you literally like the intro I think, uh, that's why I had to pick a male voice and stuff. We didn't get to pick a class of Javelin, um, I assume it's going to be like the beta where you start off with the... Uh, the normal javelin at the start, the ranger, and then once you play the game for a little bit longer, you can unlock the new ones. Okay, last freelancer to revive. We got Oh, okay, there was a bit I of a like glitch. <laughs> ah, we revived him though. Oh my god, what the hell is that? A titan? Oh my. Oh my god! Oh, what the hell? Oh, can you just leave me alone? Oh, he just opened away from me. Thanks, buddy. Um, I don't think you meant it. Of course, it would just be game, <laughs> gaming like chance. Well, that would happen. Oh my god, this place is a freaking mess though. Holy Jesus Christ. It's like Armageddon right now. Wait, what? We're losing? I thought we were winning. I'm kicking some scorpion ass right now. Oh, 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 okay. She's saying retreat. Uh, should I run away? Oh, there's also medals and stuff. We got multi kill stuff. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, okay, good scene. Rookie, there you are. Get in here. Face calling a retreat. We got this. Almost there. Team. Um, uh, I think we should listen to Faye. She seems smart. Oh, oh, right hook, right in the boob. Oh, she went down real quick. He's gone. I'm sorry. Oh, it was a guy. Ah, oh, you can still get in the boobs, of the guy. This thing is going down. Come on. Oh, there's an ult of some sort. Oh! <laughs> Fly swatted! Oh, please tell me he comes up on the... Oh, I was gonna say, if he falls off the knuckles, that would be so cool. Oh, he just got slapped in the ass right there. Oh! Oh, that was pretty cool. So things can die in this game. Okay, it's not like Destiny where we just keep getting revived. Um, this guy seems to be going down though. Are, are they really just not gonna let me fight this thing? They're just gonna show him killing it? Yeah, what the hell? Let me fight the dude. I wanted to kick his ass. To get out of here. No. We push on. We're the only ones left. Think about Miller and Adair. All the others. You've been a coward. 
I'm no coward. No? You want to push forward until I get killed? Uh, uh, until we both get killed? Yeah. Ooh, crap. How'd he miss? You're just standing there. Oh, there's two of these guys now. Oh, this Haluk guy is gonna hate me. You know what? As far as first missions go, it wasn't so bad. It was actually Didn't pretty cool. Attempt to silence the heart of rage. We lost more than freelancers, more than friends and comrades. We lost the faith of the people we protect. So the freelancers scattered, searching for ways to redeem themselves. The few who remained carried on, finding new allies where they could. Doing their best to help a people who no longer called the freelancers heroes. Wait, so the tower is like empty now or like disbanded all the freelancers? Two years? What? <laughs> oh my god, we are going miles away. Okay, two years after the Heart of Rage. That was what that was. Oh, these things look pretty cool. Ooh, I do love like... Extraterrestrial, exoterrestrial. That's me right now. Uh, let's sell yourself short, mate. A cipher couldn't ask for any better partner. You could ask, but not many of us left. The relays are short flights. Of the Ooh, okay, let's yeah, keep going. Exactly the the yeah, we can fly now. This is the cool part of the game. You can fly everywhere you want. It's so cool. Dive steeply to cool off. Woo! Okay. Gotta love the flying mechanics in this though. It is really cool. Of course you can't fly forever. You can see the little white bar down the bottom. But we can fly for quite a while. And um, oh we can harvest organic what the Okay, we harvested some stuff. Got a chest as well. Supply cash. Let's interact with this boy. This really does have though like the ability or the aesthetics of being a really good game. Also, you can fly for longer if you like cliff dive like that, because it's when you're flying up that it costs much like energy, but when you're flying down it kind of decreases. But it has such a good premise, so it's so cool as well, the flying and everything like that. I don't know why the reviews have been so bad. I know there is some annoying stuff like in the tower you can't run and stuff like that, which a lot of people hate. But it seems like we have some pretty nice stuff. There's a quick kill. Oh, 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 oh. And of course, I got a day one patch. Uh, anyone who's playing in the premium thing didn't get any patch and stuff. But we actually did get a patch. So uh, that's why some of the bugs are already gone from when I started the game. Oh, that guy's gone for me. So we haven't got all the bugs that were in that from this day one. So basically, Origin Premium members, you are our beta testers. <laughs> but it's looking so cool so far. As I said, third person shooters, it can be so oh so pleasing. All right, let's keep going. Uh, let's fly away. Oh, I killed myself down in waterfalls as well. Oh yeah, that it's, that's what I'm saying. The thing is, when you're flying, the heat is what makes you kind of like stop flying. It's that white bar, it's because you're overheating and stuff. But if you go through water and stuff, it cools you down. Obviously, going on fire is going to heat you up, but... Oh, look at these guys. Hey, buddy. Uh, oh, oh, oh! Whoa, no! I didn't know I could kill them! Oh, I'm so sorry! I am so sorry right now! Oh, no, the humanity! Oh, grab it's a highly social and living tight-knit families losing just one guy will like me. Oh, my God, don't make me feel so bad! I just sent their whole family into disarray. Oh, oh my god. I'm so sorry. Oh, grab it fell. I am so sorry right now. Oh, no. Is he attacking me? Oh, what the hell? I pressed W. No. Just, just kill me. Just, just do the mission. I'm so sorry. Oh, I press E instead of W to move forward. Oh, guys, stay away from me. I'm a freaking maniac, apparently. Uh, such butterfingers. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I've literally sent a little tur- uh, 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 Like a little small family of cute little things into turmoil. I can't do with them. Uh, what were they called again? Grab it. Grab it or grab it felt. Grab it. Oh my god, I feel so bad right now. Okay, let's venture for it though. We'll just ignore the absolute like cruelty of animals I just did. We'll keep on going to these things. Um, I need to, I just might as well kill these things. Okay, white runs I can kill, guys. Okay, these things look evil. I can fire a homing Oh, yeah, I have abilities as well. I can fire a homing missile, which will go after him. Oh, one shot him as well. Uh, well, as I said, I also got that grenade thing. 
So, uh, yeah, I can just, like, grenades on him? Oh, oh okay, not. <laughs> oh my god, he's, like, shooting at me. And thank you. Are these things are gonna just keep coming at me? Okay, you just take that missile. Oh my god, okay, stop shooting at me. Oh, you can also hover and stuff as well. It's, like, it's really cool that you can hover. You can go like this and shoot people. Um, I don't really have the best weapon for this, but you can also dodge too and stuff if I press the right buttons. Oh, I didn't mean to fire there. There is a lot of mechanics and movements in this game that can make it so much cooler. All right, let's keep going though. We're going venturing forth to early warning to prevent the catalyst. Oh, oh, we're going swimming. Now, I did this in the beta. I swam it for a bit. The swimming wasn't really that great for me it's a you, basically it's really good if you put your sensitivity lowish but if you kind of get lost and stuff it can be real pain in the ass but okay we're not swimming for that live but look at that exit out of water straight into flying and we have these weird things oh yeah remember this this was sort of like in that like fort that was in the bed and stuff as well you pick up these lights and you just go over here and you can like dump them in and it'll destroy like one or two of those things okay that should be it i mean it was just going around collecting these echo things and that's not it. I need one more. Got oh, oh my god, I didn't pick this one up. Really? Basically, you just collect these little light things and you bring them back to this thing. So it's not too hard or too fancy or anything. It should open up a door or something. It looks pretty cool though. Look. <laughs> we love the little dagger things. Yeah, it should open the door. Though. Don't ask me how. Don't ask me how they're energy sources. But yeah, it opens doors. Oh my god, the ominous sound. Something's awakening in here, I think. Um, I don't know. What the hell is this thing? Oh, it's a freelancer. Ah, uh, that's not good. Oh my god, where do, what is all this? Oh, okay, these things are actually hitting me for damage. I can do this, I can dodge as well. Oh, I'm overheated! Oh, no! Am I dead? Oh my god, I actually died. <laughs> Okay, note to self, uh, don't kill yourself like that. Uh, okay, I need to go up high-ish, I think. So I can dip down if I need to reheal my energies and stuff. We can dodge that sort of stuff, though. Okay, we did make it this time. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. I'm probably, like, the only guy who's ever died there. Oh, we can't fly. What? Oh, okay. Can, can, can I... No, I can't fly. Okay, let's just swim. Uh, can we get out of the water, please? Let's fly out of... There we go. Ooh, this looks pretty damn cool. Oh, we're going echo hunting again. There's one up there. I might as well go for it. Okay, there we go. Finally got all those echoes. Something's meant to be growing here from the anthem or something. Um, Lore-wise, <laughs> yeah, there's already a good bit of lore. So oh, this frost elementals. Take my grenade. Take the grenade. There we go. We got two of them things. Um, are these things gonna just? Yeah, they're gonna keep spotting on me. A wolf and things. Apparently, the anthem I think is what's cr is it creating all these like monster things. Oh, oh, buddy, leave me alone, you son of a gun. Bump, 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 bump. Uh, wait, what? Oh, okay, I have to pick up all this crap. Uh, oh, there's enemies spawning at the same time though. This ain't good. This is no brainer. Take the grenade. The thing is, uh, those those abilities, you can see they charge up pretty quickly. So it's not like you're like you, you don't have any DPS potential. Uh, the guns obviously do a good bit of damage, but those like missiles and stuff they actually do a lot more as well. Uh, but this guy could up to leg it at me as soon as he gets up in the air. Um, are we done? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we need to hurry. Uh, I'm not getting time. Am I? I hate time events. But of course there is other weapons as well than just <laughs> just auto rifles. So, uh, there could be other stuff to use. Uh, where do I have to put it into this one over here. Are you serious? There we go. We got them all three of them in. Let's go. Oh, this looks cool. It's so mechanical looking, though. Oh no! Yeah, I think you better run, dude. I think you better run. Don't don't. Okay, this is not worth it, guy. <laughs> Uh, is that gonna disappear or are we gonna have to fight this thing? Oh, okay. Somehow it killed it? Do I get the loot? Do I get XP for this? <laughs> I better get the XP for killing this mofo. I did all the work. Yeah. 
Oh, we just dip in them? Okay. I have no idea what's going on, but... Oh, look how beautiful this looks. Ooh. God, I love some nice aesthetics. And that is obviously the first mission. Anthem! Thank you for the introduction, game. That was actually a pretty cool mission. We didn't get to fight a boss or anything like that. Of course, boss fights are in this. We didn't fight any, but hey, we got to uh, fight a couple of dudes, a few of the like missions, and got to test the waters a bit. But there's the expedition complete, and of course, oh, Nexus sealed me. Uh, yeah, <laughs> don't like the name, guys. It's usually Nexus, but some douche robbed my name, and then the underscores wouldn't work, so I had to go for it. Fall out something different. But this is what happens after you complete missions and stuff. It's called expeditions. You get loads of medals, you get XP, so I'm level 2 now. And also, as we all know, there is loot in this game. It's a loot and shooter, so you will have different weapons and stuff that I actually do just loot there. Um oh, we didn't have auto cannons in the beta or anything like that. Okay, there's a lot of different stuff here. Okay, this is the tower as well that I was talking about. So weird and the frames drop back to 30, because obviously cutscenes. Are gonna be at the max they can go on uh, PS4 and like Xbox and stuff, so I'm pretty sure they're all 30 frames. Could be wrong though, but it looks it. By the way, it's tearing my screen to bits. And there is the also cool javelin. It obviously is the ranger. We can unlock one, we got a core to unlock a different type of job. Oh, we can actually create our character. Okay, okay, let's go. Okay, the character creation was just literally cre uh, making a face, like set faces. You didn't have much to do. So I just put a face on, really. That was really we it. Are. And we're out of the javelin, though. The last stop on the Bastion frontier. Oh, this is Fort Tarsus, then. Not the tower. I call it a tower. Oh, well, you can walk a bit quicker. Uh, but you kill still can't really run in the tower and stuff, so... Yeah, this was annoying a lot of people, I know, from the earlier. Or from people who uh, did this stuff. But hey, monthly draws and stuff. For people who played the game in the premium access, they said that this is like the most annoying part because <laughs> it's just so slow. Ooh, look at that tick ass though. Ooh, who was that? Oh, it's a dude. Oh no. It's war, right? All readings fall within acceptable tolerances. You got to look past the numbers for once in your life. Something is off. The connection is a bit fuzzy. How do you quantify fuzzy? You don't quantify fuzzy. You don't measure it, you don't count it, it's nothing like that. It's it's a feeling. Everything okay here, Owen? Well, yeah, well, on your last mission, I noticed that the cipher chair was giving off some very strange feedback. Oh, readings fall with an acceptable tolerances. Well, no, it's your call, but if you ignore it and something goes wrong... I will find know. an arcanist and perform a full protocol inspection on this unit. <laughs> she does not like him now. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the chair, is there? No. Why are you always <laughs> stirring up trouble? What are you talking about? I've just done her a massive favor. You've got no idea how boring it is being a Fort Cypher. She does not get to work with the freelancer. She does not get to see the world through the eyes of a javelin pilot. No, 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 no. You know what she gets to do? She gets to relay official messages back and forth to Cyphers at the Capitol day after day after day. Some people like boring. Not everyone's cut out to be a freelancer. So you have said. But you have to admit that last mission would have gone better with a partner. I have a partner. You. Every good javelin pilot needs a cipher. That is not what I meant. Look, if I had a suit of my own, I could be out there in the field with you. Hold down your boosters, Acha. With more training, you'll get your chance. I promise. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> He's definitely gonna die already. Fort space suit anyway. Job board is empty. We'll figure something out. We always do. Yeah. Do you ever regret missing out on the glory days? Back when freelancers were treated like heroes. I sort of Contrast want to be a hero. To their laps. Everywhere they went, they were given respect. And free sandwiches. Of course, free that's all sandwiches. I wanted. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> respect? Down. Screw that. I want well, the free sandwiches. Budget budget has room for sandwiches. You're probably right. You know what? Why don't you uh, head over to the forge, get your javelin tuned up so we're ready to roll if a contract does fall into our laps. Alright, okay, yeah, let's go javelin hunting again. And I'm gonna end the video here. Basically, I just wanted to go through, like, the first sort of mission. Kind of like a taster of what Anthem is gonna be like. So far, I'm actually really liking it. I think the gameplay and stuff is actually mechanically good. Uh, graphically, it looks crazy. I haven't seen any groundbreaking glitches. Obviously, I've only played, like, what, 30 minutes of it? So, I'm not gonna find much glitches. And uh, the tower thing... 
Of course, I haven't played long enough to get annoyed by it, but I don't think it's going to make me go, yeah, I'm not buying the game and stuff like that. I will probably make more videos on it, though. Just tell me what you guys think about it. I'm not probably going to do all the story missions because, yeah, I'll probably do the forts and stuff or show you, like, different weapons and stuff. I, I think I'm better off doing that because doing a walkthrough and stuff of Anthem probably would just take too long and I don't really have the time. So far, though, I think it's a cool game and everything like that. Will it kill Destiny 2? I don't know. It's completely different in Destiny 2 because Destiny 2 is obviously first person. It has different layouts, different hoods and stuff. They're both looter shooters. But who says you can't play both? I mean, Destiny 2 also has PvP. This doesn't. So the PvP side of the aspect is going to turn a lot of people off Anthem. But hopefully that'll be brought in eventually. And PvE-wise, it looks pretty cool. All the new enemies and stuff look really nice. It's kind of like a refreshing experience seeing as Destiny 2 has like all the same enemies and stuff. This sort of refreshes what like space enemies are really like. There's different types and stuff like that. So I wouldn't exactly compare the two games against each other. I wouldn't say like this one is completely better. It does this better and all this. Because they're kind of different games in general. The same looter shooters. But I think when it comes to FPS and third person. It changes the dynamic up a lot. And as I said. There's no reason why you can't play both. I mean both games are pretty damn good. <laughs> but regardless if you liked the video. Try us like. And if you want to see more content, subscribe for the last day. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one.